鼠妈妈。Thanks for watching this video about Camelot Village and Discovery Bay, St. Anne. I'm so excited that you're interested in this community. It's a great location and has a lot of opportunity for Airbnb and long-term rentals. So I'm offering a very exciting product specifically for the detached homes in Camelot Village for phase three, four, and five. So if you have a house that you're getting in any of those phases, I have put together an ebook on how to set up your Camelot Village home in one week. So if you've ever tried to get anything done in Jamaica, you know that is nearly impossible. But my husband and I were down in Jamaica about a month ago and did this. And I wanted to let you guys in on the insider secrets and how we went about getting a home set up very quickly. So this ebook is going to include to-do lists, daily to-do lists, what you need to do each day, and who you need to contact, how much things will cost, um, all the information you need to get your home set up. So this will include things like setting up your yard, getting a water tank, which is a big deal in Camelot Village because they're having some water issues over there. So getting that set up and installed, your garbage bin and clothesline, getting your AC and fans set up. And then I always like to put in curtains because it just gives the place a nice look um, if you're going to take photos. So all those things will be included as well as some other things that we learned along the way. So if you guys are interested in this, there's a link in the description. Um, go ahead, get your ebook. You can set up your planning from now. I'm going to have a schedule of what you need to do before you go to Jamaica and then each day in Jamaica, what you need to do to get your house set up in one week, weather permitting. I will say that because when I was down there, there was a lot of rain. So weather permitting, you can get your home set up in one week and we can help you do that with this ebook. So if you're interested, click the link in the description and I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. I am so excited we're here at a house in Camelot Village. I'm helping a subscriber set this house up for long term rental. So I want to show you some of the things we did just to get it ready for long term. So when you take over the house, there are certain things that are set up and are here, but then there's other things you need to add. For example, AC, fans, different things like that. So. This is the home, it's a two bedroom, two bath. Really nice, they did a great job on these homes. So in the living room, we have an AC unit and the homes come pre-wired and pre-piped for the AC, so it's very easy to install. And then we have one of those in each room and then also the ceiling fans. So the ceiling fans are working really well. One thing we found though that was different because uh, in the past I've worked with Chemtech and this is a Gore home. One thing we found that was a little disappointing is that there were no wires. Um, it wasn't pre-wired for ceiling fans. So what we had to do, if you see here, we had to take the power up from the light socket and put it in a trunking, is what they call it, um, to cover up the wire to the fan. So aesthetically, I don't think it's as clean, um, but you know, we made it work. So, and then we put up curtains in the house just because we had Nicola James, the realtor, come by to take photos and video of the home. So we wanted it to photograph a little better and this adds some color to the house. And we also added a curtain rod above the sink so that they can add a valance if they would like that. So since this is a long-term rental, we are not adding a stove or washer dryer or re refrigerator um, because that is probably something that the potential renter will bring with them when they come. All right, so this is the living room. 
This front bedroom, again, has the AC, and to be honest, guys, I really don't like the way this trunking looks for the ceiling fan, but it's a necessary evil. Um, I think when they, I wish they would have pre-wired um, for the ceiling fans because it looks so much cleaner if it's pre-wired and you don't have to run this wire from the light, but that's what we're working with. So we are rolling with it. So we have the AC in this room along with the ceiling fan. These bathrooms, we really haven't done anything to the bathroom. They came nicely put together, I think. Um, I really love the showers. They're completely tiled showers. And the bathrooms come really nicely set up. All right, so we'll go to the back bedroom. We have also a bathroom here that's nicely set up for long term. And then in the back bedroom, we also have the AC, ceiling fans, and the curtains that we added. So pretty much guys, on the interior, we did, we're doing work on the exterior, but for the interior, this is pretty much what you need to set it up for a long-term rental. You need curtains, just so it photographs well, and you wanna keep your home covered before someone moves in, so people aren't looking in your window. You need an AC unit and fans. So I would say for the interior, that is pretty much it, guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to have videos of the exterior, which will be very interesting, I think. So uh, keep an eye out for those. And if you have any questions on which contractors we use to do the work or how much something cost or how to get something done, feel free to leave a comment. If you all need help setting up a house that you have in this manner, uh, reach out to me because that's a service that we provide. So we can help you get the ACs, get the fans, get the curtains installed, things of that nature. So if that's a service that you're looking for, make sure you reach out to me. Uh, my contact information is in the description. So thanks guys and we'll see you next time. Hush, Mama.